manatees. They are gentle. They are slow moving. They are cute. <laughs> the sea cows love the warm waters of the clean water discharge of the FPL plant in West Palm Beach when it gets too cold, which it sounds like it might be cold again. That's where FPL's Manatee Lagoon is and Angela Cruz Ledford. You're no stranger to this space. It's good to see you again. Welcome to be here. You're our spokesperson this morning. I'm excited to be here and thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to talk about manatees and everything going on at Manatee Lagoon. So the Florida Fish and Wildlife uh, Conservation Commission, they continue to investigate an alarmingly high rate of manatee deaths. Why is that? That's right, TA. So FWC has been working very closely with all of their wildlife partners to talk about the unusual mortality event and educate people about what's happening out there. And so nutrient runoff, excess nutrient runoff caused from human sources has caused algal blooms throughout a lot of waterways in Florida. Right. And that can really be an issue for manatees because it blocks sunlight from getting to seagrass, which is manatees preferred food source. Right. And that has led to a lot of issues for manatees. So we're, we're seeing like in the Indian River Lagoon, for example, there's not a lot of seagrass but we don't have the same plight down here in the Lake Worth Lagoon, right? So according to Palm Beach County Environmental Resources Management, they say that the Lake Worth Lagoon is doing a little bit better. Of course, there's a lot of ways that we could help and make it even better because manatees are facing challenges throughout the state, but we want to make sure that everything that we do helps manatees because whether it's the Lake Worth Lagoon or the India River Lagoon, everything that we as humans do can impact wildlife. All aquatic wildlife are affected by these algal blooms. Now, here's the thing. There's a lot of folks that have moved down to South Florida. Right. They're new here. They're on the water. They're enjoying the wonderful waterways. What are the top tips for boaters to help prevent boater strikes? Because if you go to Manatee Lagoon, right. you will see manatees with strikes on their backs. You're so correct, and that is something we've talked about extensively at Manatee Lagoon because we use them as educational opportunities to show our guests just what can happen, how harmful it can be for a manatee to have a collision with a boat. And so we always tell people it's helpful if you wear polarized sunglasses right. because then you can see more clearly into the water. You can look for manatee footprints, which are circles in the water that show that a manatee could be underneath. Look for their snouts taking breaths and also just be mindful of the shallow areas because that's where they tend to graze. Absolutely. And so we want to make sure that boaters go through obeyed speed limit laws. Now we have a special guest here today, Mia the manatee. Come on in, Mia, and her handler, they're coming on in because this weekend, your whole goal is education, uh, letting people know about manatees plight and hi Mia, it's good to see you. Say hi to everybody. Um, what is going on this weekend at Manatee Lagoon? So we're having our annual Manatee Fest. It's our sixth annual event and this is something we look forward to all year <laughs> it's long. It's so much fun. We've got Mia, she's going to be out making appearances, so many things for kids to do and families can enjoy themselves, learn about manatees, educate themselves while having fun. It's free, tons of things to do. There's the official Manatee Lagoon shirt modeled by the wonderful Ryan and this was designed by the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation so wow. if you don't mind showing them the back. Look at this <laughs> unique design. So we've got shops. What's also special special about this year, it's our first ever hybrid event. So we've got a Manatee Fest app and you can participate virtually online from the comfort of your home. Oh, I'm sick or of come virtual. I'm coming. You're going outside. <laughs> We're okay. Be in person. <laughs> get your manatee and get your shirt on. And yeah, you're an official manatee master, so you can be there too. There you go. All right, Angela, thanks so thanks much for so being much. with us. You're watching WPTV News Channel 5.